In this video, I want to show you an easy go high level SaaS offer that you can use to get clients paying you pretty much forever. So this offer is going to be extremely sticky. It's not like SMMA where you're going to be charging high ticket prices for services where it's inevitable for your clients to cancel in the future. And we don't want that. We want to truly build monthly recurring revenue. And the best way to do that is to sell businesses on this offer that I'm about to show you. So why is this going to be the perfect offer that you can use, especially as a beginner? Well, the first reason is because this offer is very irresistible. Also, every single business will need this. And if they don't have this, they're literally going to be left behind and get destroyed by their competition. And then, like I said before, this is an extremely sticky offer. We don't just want a client for a couple months. We want a client pretty much forever for as long as they do business. And then fourth, this is very easy for us to build out. It's very easy for us to fulfill. And it's not going to be that much work on our end. And then finally, this is going to be a low maintenance offer. So once we build everything out, once we fulfill this offer, that's pretty much it. We're not going to have to constantly stress out and be doing things. For example, like a marketing agency. If you have a marketing agency, you're going to have to constantly be in there running ads, tweaking ads, testing things, and you're going to constantly have clients breathing down your neck. But with this offer, that's not the case. So in this video, I'm going to show you the exact offer that you can use to get businesses paying you forever. I'm going to show you how to build everything out and then I'm going to show you how to fulfill this offer. But before we get started guys, I would appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe and now let's jump right into it. All right, so now that we're inside a go high level, the first thing that we're going to sell with this offer is going to be a website. Now there are a ton of businesses out there who still don't have websites. So there's a huge market for this and don't worry, we're not just going to be selling them a basic website because if we do that and we just run out a website from go high level, still it's only a matter of time before they cancel. And our whole goal with this video is to get a business owner to pay us pretty much forever. And in order to do that, we're going to pretty much need our client's entire business integrated with this software. And we're going to need them to rely on our software every single day if they're going to pay us every single month. And we're also going to want to make it as hard as possible for our client to switch over to another software, because if they wanted to do that, it's going to be an extreme hassle. And nine times out of 10, they're just going to stay with you. So first, we're just going to build the business owner a website. And I have a ton of videos that show you how to do that. But what you would pretty much do is just come over here to the sites, go to websites, and then it's going to be extremely easy to build out a website. You can just click right here, click on from templates and continue. And just like that with go high level, you're going to have a ton of already built out website templates that you can use for a whole bunch of different types of niches. So pretty much every single niche that you can think of go high level will have a template for that business. And to customize these templates, it's going to be easy as well. You just have to click on one of them, add the business owners logo to the website, add text to this website, which you can easily do with AI. And just like that, you can have a fully built out website for any business in less than 30 minutes. So for this example, we can just come up here and search for our niche. So I'm just going to do something like plumber. And just like that, we're going to see a ton of plumber templates. So let's just go ahead and choose one of these. So I'm just going to do this one continue. So here it is. Here's the website. We can just click on it and then edit this page right here. And now, like I said before, to finish this website, we can just add the business's logo right here and then swap out this text right here with AI. And just like that, we can build this out really quickly. Now, like I said before, we don't just want to give the business owner a website that doesn't really do anything because if we want the business owner to stay with us forever. We're going to have to be constantly getting them leads through this website. So we're going to have to make this website functional. And we're also going to want the business owner to track every single lead that they're getting because the more leads that they have in our software, the more likely they're going to stay with us for a very long time. So the first thing that we're going to include with this website is a built out sales pipeline for the business owner. So we can just go back and then we can come over here to opportunities, go to pipelines, and we can just come over here, click on create new pipeline. And for this name, we can do plumber sales pipeline. And then for the stages, we can just do new lead. And then right here we can do hot lead. And then next we can do appointment booked and then no show canceled follow up. And then we can do something like sold. So when building out a sales pipeline for your client, if you don't know what stages you want to add inside of the pipeline, you can just go over to ChatGPT and ask them to give you some stages that you can use for the specific business that you're targeting. And ChatGPT will give you a list of stages that you can use. So these ones should be fine for right now. So I'll just go ahead and save this. And if we go back to the opportunities, we're going to see our sales pipeline right here. So now our plumber client can track all the leads that they're getting from their website. So they'll see any new leads that they're getting, any leads that responded, any who booked a free quote, no show, canceled, follow up and then any that they sold. This is where they can organize all of their leads. So now the next thing that we're going to want to do is connect this pipeline to the website. And we're also going to want to automate this pipeline as well. So whenever someone goes on your client's website and they fill out their website form, they'll automatically appear right here. And then if they respond to our automation, they'll automatically be moved right here. And then if they book an appointment with our client, that lead will automatically be shown right here and so on and so forth. So once we do that, everything is going to be running on autopilot for our client. And that's just another reason for them to stay with us for a very long time, because the less work our client has to do, the more likely they're going to want to stay around. So let's just go over here 
here to sites and then come over here to forms and builder and then let's go over here and add a form start from scratch and i'm just going to name this form re quote plumber form and then for this form right here we can just make it as simple as possible let's just delete this and then delete this and let's come over here and let's just drag full name over here and if you want to collect their email and phone you can just leave that like this and then for this button we can just do submit and then you can change this color to the brand color of your client now that we have a form let's just save this and now let's add this form to our client's website so let's go back and then let's come over here to websites click on our client's website edit the home page and then right here for this button we can just click on it and we could just rename this button to get a free quote and now to connect our website form to this button we can just come over here to where it says button actions and then click on open pop-up and now let's add the form to our pop-up by coming over here to pop-up settings then we can click add row add a column add an element and then click on where it says form and then you're just going to choose that new form that you just created so here it is here's what it looks like and then if you want to you can just add a headline and then move this up and we can name this get a free quote and just like that your client now has a form that they can use on their website and they can customize this even more by coming over here to the pop-up settings so let's just go ahead and test this out by previewing the website so this is what your client's website would look like if one of their leads clicks on this button they're going to be taken to this form right here where your client can quickly collect that lead but as of right now if someone fills out this form nothing's really going to happen and like i said before we're going to want to create an automation that will update them in your client's sales pipeline and an automation that will automatically reach out to the lead and nurture the lead so i'm going to show you how you can quickly do that let's go back exit out of this website and then go to where it says automation create workflow and we could just name this workflow website form for this trigger we can do form submitted and then for the filter we're just going to do form is and then we're just going to choose our plumber form save trigger so now whenever someone fills out this website form this automation is going to trigger and the first thing that we can do is add a tag and we can just tag this web form just so your client knows exactly where the lead came from and then we don't just want our client to be left in the dark every single lead that they get we want them to get notified so right here we can do an internal notification and you can either do an email just a notification or a text message i'm just going to do a notification and for the title you can just say you got a new website lead and then down here you can just say something like someone filled out your form on your website get back to them as soon as possible or something like that and then you can go ahead and just save this next we can update the lead in our client's pipeline so we can go over here click on create opportunity choose the pipeline that we created and then for the stage we're just going to do a new lead and then we can go ahead and save this and now we're going to want to reach out to the lead who filled out our client's website form so we can just click right here we can send them an sms and then for this text message right here you can say something like thank you for reaching out to business name when's a good time we can come out to give you that free quote or something like that and then you can go ahead and save that so now for this automation we're going to want to add an if else condition right here and the condition that we're going to add is if someone responds to this text message we're going to update them in our pipeline and then if they don't respond to this message right here we can continue following up with this lead so first i'm just going to go ahead and add a wait time and we're just going to click right here and do contact reply and right here where it says reply to we can do our s SMS that we sent and then we can time this out and do like one day and then we can save this action so now let's go ahead and add our if else condition i'm just going to type if else and then right here we could just name this responded and then right here we can do yes and then for this we're going to click on contact reply and then click on contact replied and then click on true and then we can go ahead and save this action so now if a lead responds to this text right here they're going to come down this path and then if they haven't responded to this text message but it's been a day they're going to come down here so for this we can update them in our pipeline click on our plumber pipeline and then right here we can move them to hot lead and then save action and then we can go ahead and add an internal notification and for this notification you can just title this website lead responded and then for the message you can just say get back to them as soon as possible and make sure that you book a free quote with them so let's go ahead and save this and then if you want to you can add a tag right here that says lead responded you can add a text message right here and so on and so forth you can really do whatever you want now if this lead doesn't respond to this text message you can just come down here and add follow-up messages and you can make this as long as you want so after a little while you can continue continue to send text messages to the lead trying to get them to engage with the business so that's just an example of an automation that you can create for your client's website form that will save them a ton of time from having to reach out to their leads manually and this system right here businesses absolutely love automation is something that every single business should be doing so now that you have your client's website form all connected all ready to go all automated this is just one way that we can collect leads from our client's website but we're going to want to optimize our client's lead acquisition on their website as much as possible so the next way that we can 
can help our clients collect leads on their website is by connecting a chat widget to their website. So if we just go back and then come over here to sites and then over here to chat widget, this is where you can customize your client's chat widget on their website. So this is what the chat widget will look like. And once you're done coming through here and customizing this chat widget to your liking, you can just click right here and get code, copy this code right here. And then you can just go back to your client's website. I'm just going to come over here, edit the homepage. Now to add the chat widget to this website, you can just go over here to where it says tracking code and then click on footer tracking. And you're just going to want to paste in that code right here. And then you can save this. Now, if we preview this website right away, you're going to notice that that chat widget was added to the website. And this is just another way your client can collect leads on their website. So if lead clicks right here and they fill out their information and click on send, your client will get all that information. So now again, we're going to want to have this chat widget automated. So if we just go back and exit out of here, it's going to be extremely easy. We can just go to automation and we can just use the same structure of this automation right here that we used for our website form. So we can just click on these three dots, duplicate this workflow, and we could just name this chat widget and then create. And now all we would do is just click on this new automation and then we can just customize this automation a little bit to our liking. So right here, instead of saying form submitted, we can just delete this trigger and then we can add a new trigger and we can just do customer replied. And for this filter, we can do reply channel. And then right here, we can click on chat widget and save this. So now whenever someone interacts with our chat widget, this automation is going to trigger and we can just swap out this tag right here that says website form and we could just name this chat widget and so on and so forth. You just want to make sure that you swap out anywhere that says website form for your chat widget. And then once you're done, you can save this and exit out of here. So the next way we can make this website even better is by helping the business owner get booked appointments directly through this website. And the way we're going to do that is by connecting an automated calendar to this website. So if a business owner is using your calendar, they're getting booked appointments from your calendar and they're relying on your calendar every single day. This is going to get the business owner to pay you every single month for a very long time. And they're not even going to think twice about canceling if you do this the right way. So I'm going to show you how you can do that now. If we just come over here and we go to where it says calendars, click on calendar settings. And then actually before you do that, before you create a calendar, you're going to need to add a staff member to this sub account. I'm just going to go over here to my staff, add an employee. So for the first name, I'm just going to do example, last name, example, email, example at gmail.com. And for this phone number, we just do a random phone number. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So here it is. Now that you added someone to this sub account, we can click right here where it says calendars, click on create new calendar. And then you can choose between a couple calendars that you want to use. But for this example, I'm just going to do the service calendar. And then for the calendar name, I could just do free quote. And then right here where it says staff member, we're just going to choose that person that we just added. And then we can add a custom URL. And then when we're done, we can just go ahead and confirm this. And now if we go back and we go to calendars, we're going to see that calendar right here. And now let's add this calendar to our client's website by coming over here to sites, websites, and then you just want to create a new website page for this calendar. For this example, let's just customize this one right here and make this page our calendar page. So I'm just going to click right here, go to settings, and then I'm just going to rename this free quote calendar page. And then for the path, we could just rename this and then update page. And now let's customize this page right here. So on this page, we could just delete this and say, get a free quote, and then we can make this bold. And then just to make this very simple, we can just delete this right here, add a new element, and then come over here towards this calendar. And then we can just click on our free quote calendar that we just created. So here it is, here's our calendar page where someone can book an appointment directly through your client's website. So let's just save this. And then there's one last thing that we're gonna have to do. So let's just go back. And now let's edit this homepage. And then we can click up here, we can add an item. And right here, we can just say, get a free quote. And then where it says go to, we're just gonna do go to page and then we're just going to choose our new free quote calendar page and then click on submit. So here it is. We now have that on our main page. So if we preview this website, this is what the website will look like. And if a lead clicks right here, they're going to be taken to your client's free quote calendar page and they can just go through here and book an appointment with your client. And that's how your client will get appointments through your website. So again, we're going to want to automate this calendar right here. And we're also going to want to create appointment reminders. So whenever someone books an appointment to help your client with their appointment show up rate, we can send their leads appointment reminders. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that now. So if you just go to automation, this is where you can build everything out. And I just want to head quickly build everything out for you. So I have this folder that says appointment reminders. We click on this and we click on this first automation. So for this first automation, whenever someone books an appointment on that plumber calendar, the plumber will get notified. That lead will get a tag that says appointment booked. They're going to be updated in our pipeline as appointment booked. And then they're going to get a text confirmation and email confirmation. And then 10 minutes before the appointment, they're going to get a text reminder and an email reminder that someone's going to come out to their property to give them that free quote. And then if you want to, you can add even more 
more reminders down here, but this is just an example. And then if we go back, we have an automation for our no-shows. So whenever someone doesn't show up to the appointment, they're gonna be updated in our pipeline as no-show. Then our client will get notified. They'll get a tag that says no-show, and then they'll get a follow-up email and text message telling them, hey, we missed you. Would you like to reschedule for this day? Or when would you like to reschedule? So that way, any no-show that your client gets, they have the opportunity to revive that lead and to get a new appointment with them. Now, if we go back, we have a third automation for anyone who cancels the appointment. If someone cancels, this will get triggered. They'll get a tag that says canceled. They'll be updated in your client's pipeline as canceled. Your client will get notified and then they'll get a text message and email that will try to get them to reschedule with the client. So those are the calendar automations that you're going to need. So now with all of that set up, your client will pretty much be relying on your software to run their business. Now there's one last thing that you can do to make this offer even more irresistible and that's sending your client's customer a review request every time they're done getting serviced. So to do that, we can just go over here to opportunities and right here we have this pipeline totally automated and there's one last thing that we can do. So right here where it says sold, let's say that someone shows up to that free quote appointment. All your client would have to do is drag the lead right here where it says appointment booked all the way to right here where it says sold and anyone who gets dragged right here will automatically be sent a review request. So to make all that work, you just go over here to automation and then you can just create a new workflow right here. We could just name this review request and then for this trigger, we can do pipeline stage change and for this filter, we can do in pipeline, choose our plumber pipeline and then right here, we're going to do pipeline stage and right here, we're going to do sold. Now, if we save this trigger, we can add an action and for this action, we're just going to do send review request and then you can either do it by email or text and then save this action. So whenever your client drags someone to the sold stage in their pipeline, that customer will automatically be sent a review request and just like that, your client will start racking up reviews on autopilot and that's just going to top everything off to make this offer extremely irresistible and all these features that I showed you in this video your client will rely on every single day to run their business so guys that's an easy go high level SaaS offer that you can use to get clients to pay you forever and then finally guys if you don't want to go in here and build all this stuff out that you saw in this video we did just launch our premium snapshot vault down below and this is going to be a marketplace of a ton of premium snapshots for all the main niches that you might want to target and we are constantly adding new snapshots to this vault and it's going to be very simple all you have to do is upload one of these snapshots to your go high level account and you're going to have everything built out for your client in no time and then if you guys are new to go high level and you sign up to go high level with the link down below you'll get access to the snapshot vault for completely free so go ahead and check that out if you want to and then finally i would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one